what's the next step? How's that work? So we added the glue. Now we have to do that. Let's open that package up. Are you sharing? Kiki's here with us. Hi, Kiki. We have a bit of a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> we got a little baby butt cracking out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Help, help, help. Higgins butt's gonna be plastered all over. I'm trying to change my diaper. <laughs> so we are back. Um, it's the afternoon now. It's 2.30. Um, we went to Home Depot, got a bunch of stuff, as you saw. Or saw that Nate built his little thing. <laughs> you got his little flower pot, right? Yes. Okay. Um, we bought a few things and... Hey, I need to play. Stop it, Robert. Hold on, sorry. Nate, come here, please. I need you right now to play with him so he doesn't roll over on Then we me. grabbed a quick lunch and we went over to... Paul and Nate are going to join a bowling league. We went over to pay that. Um, but they actually don't let you pay it until tomorrow when it starts. So we're going to do that and I'll take some video of that too. It's a 15-week bowling league um, for an adult and child. Nate wanted me to do it with him. But... I told him he was better off having Paul do it, so Paul and him are going to do that. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. The sickness has wore me out. I'm feeling better today. Keegan's better. Um, Paul's going to mow the outside. Paul's going to mow the backyard. We're going to pick up a little bit and maybe do a couple little small projects. Some things that we got. What we needed for. And... Uh, go with that. Maybe sneak a nap in if I can so I'm just beat. Alright. Hey everybody, I am back. I ran to the thrift store. Um, it's been kind of a boring day around here. We weren't able to mow the lawn because it started raining and it's supposed to rain for like the next year, I swear. But I got a couple of things at Goodwill and I went to a thrift, stop, a store, blah, blah, thrift store for the kids. I got Keegan a couple of things more for Florida. I got him another swim outfit. Um, what's wrong? And I got him a cute little 4th of July outfit because we'll be in Florida on 4th of July. Um, and I got him and Nate both sandals. Um, I'll show you what I got. But it's like 710. This has got going to be a productive weekend at all. I can tell you right now I just don't feel good. So that is that. I will show you what we got. So let me show you what I got. I got this little hat for Keegan for Florida and just for being out in the sun. These were, um, they're from Target. Um, just pillow cases. I got one for Nate. I think I might go, it was at the thrift store. I think I might go back and get another one because they were just $2. I got this little pillow from Target. It says Hip Hip Hooray. They must send their, it's initially on clearance for eight forty eight. I got it for $3. And then this ice cream cone. We all scream for ice cream. Same thing, it was $3. Target. And then I got some things at our a thrift store here. I got some jammies for Keegan. I got a little swim outfit. Hold on, buddy. Another little swim outfit for Keegan for Florida. I got him, this was a 4th of July outfit I was telling you about, red, white, and blue, and then the red, white, and blue shorts, I got him this little tank with the bear on it, I got Nate these um, sandals. Yeah. And I got Keegan these. You're welcome, dude. Camouflage. I camouflage your butt. <laughs> that was everything I got. We got this at Home Depot for the transition between the dining room and the kitchen. We also got this trim at Home Depot. Um, I was going to be to frame my Mickey Mouse. We got that board. Go play with them at Home Depot. What? I have to fix the drawer in my office and a little in that little stand. And there's also a, a little um, thing up in Paul's room. His 
man room up there, sitting room, that he needs to fix. I got us some focus. Focus. I got us some of the um, black trash bags from to mom's. They're the really big ones that are like 45 gallons or something for garbage. Then I got us some more of the solar lights that we have out here. I showed those to you guys before. We must have gotten more because I spent like $100. What else did we get? Oh, I got the little pins for to add shelves to the entertainment center. What is wrong? You think everyone's abandoning you? They're yeah, not. I'm here. Oh, let me show you what else. I got these off of Craigslist. I love the little shoe boxes. These are for little Kegis. There's a bunch of just different shoes. Sandals and um, water shoes and just other sneakers. Just all that. I got them for like 22 bucks or something. Kegi! What's wrong? Well, happy Sunday. We are uh, going to do some work in the basement, at least I was going to, but uh, there's my son Nathaniel waiting for me. What you doing, bub? Alright. Uh, I was going to start moving these bins, which I have to move anyways now, but we'll slap up the concrete there. But uh, as you can see, we've got water. So, that's funny, I didn't mean to do that, I just did it. Okay. Um, yeah, that was the original door of the basement there. Well, I'll say original when we bought the house. That's not the, I'm sure it wasn't the original basement, basement entry. Um, and. We filled it in with topsoil, and every time it rains heavy, we uh, the ground gets saturated, and we get a little bit of water in here. But uh, at least we don't have water back here, which is where we used to get a ton of water. And I dug this down and put a uh, four-inch concrete pad under there with my friend Abe Scott uh, back in 05 and 06, I think. And we poured those concrete footers there on the side walls there. And also, hello, that's Dad. where we used to get a ton of water. It looks, it's, it looks dry right now, so. Hello, that's I have good. brain damage. But the dirt has fallen in on the sides here, so you really can't see the concrete pad down there. Well, if you look at the boards right there, right there, you see the dirty concrete below it. But yeah. The uh, four inch concrete bag goes from the front of the stairs all the way back to that wall and all the way back to that wall. So it's, uh, it's like eight foot by four foot by four inch. And it needs to be cleaned out, but there's a footer there with that pole, and there's a footer here with this pole off the concrete pad. Now, we're all aware that you have brain damage. That's because mommy and daddy couldn't stop dropping you when you were a baby. Right? Daddy would throw you in the air, and I would get distracted by something shiny, and I would turn, and you'd say, oops, and you'd scream on the floor. Uh, right? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. That's how my life has been as a baby, because I have horrible parents. So <laughs> that will be my parents, not ever be my parents, son or daughter. You're goofy, you know that? All right. We'll uh, catch up a little bit in a little while. Okay, so we are here at the bowling alley. Paul and Nate are joining a bowling league. Kiki and I are spectators. They decided on a team name of the Nutter Gutters and come along with us and watch. Team number one is gone.
on your very first lead time? All right. Nice job. Good job, Dad. Paul, you having a good time? Yeah. How about you, Nady? Daddy? If it wasn't for the bumpers, I'd have like 22 on the board. <laughs> Luckily, we have a small kit that so we get to use the bumpers. Oh, darn. I think Paul's going to win this one. Paul won the last one. Nate won the last one. I think Daddy's going to beat you this game. But you won the last one. What? He has more than me. He has more than you, but you won the first game. And Kiki just having some fun. Do you think Daddy's gonna get a spare? No, we Come on, Polly. He still couldn't get it. Eve, Paul. Paul. Even with the bumpers, you can make that? Careful. Good job, bud. All right. There you go. Daddy won the second one, you won the first one. Hey everybody, we are back home. I got irritated, I have to say. You know, sometimes my customer service background, I have um, less tolerance for non-good service. <laughs> Um, we went to, we had, just to give you a little background, we talked to someone three times about this bowling league, and three times we were told it's sixteen ninety five a week, and we get there, and they do, like, a little, they hand out a sheet, give you, like, the rules and things like that, and they say it's eighteen ninety five. It's only $2, and I get that, um, but I thought, because he had said that they made an error on the sheet, that it was printed wrong. I thought they were talking about the sheet they handed out that night. Um, and I went up to pay for the full league because if you paid in advance for the 15 weeks, then um, you got, I forget what. What did you get if you paid them in advance? Uh, some kind of membership card. Some membership card that gave you like discounted something. I don't know. But I was gonna. Right, I was gonna do it because just to get it done over, so we didn't have to worry about it each week. So I went up there and I told the guy. I said, "No, it said it should be sixteen ninety five. So it's a difference of thirty bucks, you figure." And he's like, "Well, when we printed up the sheet, they were wrong." And we specifically, it was like a flyer that they had, and we specifically talked to someone about this specific league three times. And I said, "Who's responsible for the flyer? You should honor that price." And um, he said it was the owner, and I said, all right. I said, I'm not going to pay in full this week. We'll have to think about it. And so when we got home, I called back. I said, you know what? I don't think we're going to do it. Um, I said, you know, it should be honored. The price should be honored. And I was just irritated. And he said that tonight was free on them. So we're just not going to do it. We're not going to do it this year, maybe another time. I was just irritated because you don't – have people sign up for something with an assumption of one price. If they made an error, then that's the error on their butt. Anyhow, it is what it is. And some people sign up weeks at a time. And some people sign up weeks at a time. We were the last ones to sign up. So, anyhow, 
I am going to, I told you we got some things at Home Depot yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and use this backer board that I bought for the Mickey puzzle. I wasn't sure it was going to work, but it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done so I can get that on my wall. Because I want to glue it with some wood glue. And then I'm going to set some heavy things on it so that um, it can be drying tonight and for the next couple days before we do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Okay, so what I did is I held the trim piece that I have up to the edging like so and then I put the uh, pitcher right up against there I don't know if you can tell but I traced it then I traced around it I'm going to when I put a hole here where the missing piece is so I'm going to go through that I'm going to go ahead and glue this and then press it down <coughs> so there it is it's glued to the board we had a tiny little mishap right there and I think it's because the wood glue started to seep through a little bit and so we wiped it off with a cloth but I think that that was the piece that Nate actually found for me Whoop, there it is um, that I was missing and I think that didn't get um, clear coated as many times with decoupage and so and Paul wiped it off and actually wiped some of the black off. So I'm just going to take a marker and fill it in. But then Paul will go through and he'll just cut around here so that I can get it put on the wall. And we'll cut down the trim, which will fit nicely. I am going to let this dry for a couple days and re-decoupage over it a few more times. Because I want to make it, um, especially now that it's on the backer board, I can really put the decoupage on really heavy and thick. I want to make sure that, you know, dust is not going to stick in the little cracks and crevices. Hopefully I'll find that little piece right there. If not, it is what it is. So, that's that, but I love the way it turned out.